these qualities are so sexy in an ideal partner that it's actually unsexy if you're not ready for them. Welcome back to another episode of Keeping It Real with Keandra. I am your host, Keandra Jackson, licensed marriage and family therapist. And I think we all can agree that we desire to have a healthy, thriving, amazing, long-lasting relationship. But I don't think that we think about what the flip side entails and what it requires of us if we're not ready for a real, healthy, ideal partner. So before I break down five unsexy qualities of an unhealthy relationship or an ideal partner, I need for you to go ahead, like, subscribe, and hit that notification button to be notified of our new weekly episodes coming your way. So the first unsexy quality is maturity. So this isn't just about being grown up or being or acting like your chronological age. This is embodying every single aspect of your life and making sure that the past, present, and the future, that you're realistic about those things. So I'm talking about spiritually, mentally, emotionally, financially, relationally. How are you navigating and handling those aspects of your life? So if you play too much, can't take things serious when needed, then guess what? This is probably an unsexy quality that you might not be ready for. Number two is openness. Listen, an ideal partner who is able to be open and vulnerable and share their deepest, darkest secrets with you. I said this before in another video, that's sexy as hell to me. There's something so attractive about someone being an open book. There's something so attractive about a man who knows how to truly share his thoughts his feelings, his fears, his wants, his desires with you. And he sees that you are a safe space and home to land on. Like baby, if you're not ready for this, this can be very unsexy to you. To be honest with you, being open goes right along with trust, right? If you think that someone is closed off and reserved and they kind of just like, mm, I'm not really gonna open up to you, then that's partially an indicator that they may not trust you. And so when a partner is open and honest and giving you all of those good vibes, it really does show that they care about you, that they trust you, and that they think you are a safe space to share all of their information with. So if you're somebody who can't be open, who can't be honest, who is a liar, then I can definitely tell you that this relationship is not for you and it's definitely gonna be unsexy to you. Number three is integrity. Now, if you know anything about me, I always, my one, two of my favorite words is, if we not doing it in excellence and integrity, we ain't doing it. <laughs> Literally anybody on my team will tell you those are the two things that I operate very highly in. So in regards to integrity, it basically means doing what you say you're going to do. When you say you're going to do it, how you say you're going to do it. And if you can't do it, you're going to circle back and tell the person in enough time so it won't ruin their life. And also doing things in the same exact energy that you want people to do them for you in. And also doing things in the same exact mood or energy, even if you no longer feel like it. Listen, I made a commitment to myself that I was gonna record this video for y'all today. Did I feel like it? No, <laughs> but guess what? Your girl has integrity and excellence with herself, so she made it happen. If you're somebody who lacks integrity, likes to do things real half-assed, and it's just not consistent, then I can definitely guarantee that this is going to be a quality that you are going to find very unsexy with the partnership. Number four is independence. When you are in a thriving, healthy, amazing relationship, it's okay to have space. You do not have to be with your partner every waking moment and y'all are like Siamese twins, glued to the hip, he can't even go to the bathroom, you can't even go to the bathroom without each other, like stop it, stop it, stop it. It's perfectly fine for you to be able to enjoy the qualities, the hobbies, the interests that you have had before meeting your partner, it's okay to continue to enjoy them in your partnership. So it's perfectly fine for you not to feel like you want your partner to be down your throat all the time and to have some type of independence. And that doesn't mean that it's unhealthy. It's actually very healthy to spend time apart 
from your partner. So if you somebody that gotta be a Siamese twin, that gotta be all up, booed up 24 seven with somebody, this quality is gonna be very unsexy to you when looking for an ideal partner. So essentially this means if you're too clingy or you have an anxious attachment style, and I'll link the video up here when we talking about the different relationship attachment styles, that means this might be a little bit too much and real unsexy for you if you're not ready for it. Last but not least, number five is empathy. Listen, if you cannot put yourself in someone else's shoes, we got some deeper issues that we need to talk about. I'm not talking about sympathy. Sympathy means I just feel sorry for you over there. Like, it's, it's, I feel bad for you, you know. But empathy is literally putting yourself in the other person's shoes. It's not just saying like, oh, man, I feel real bad that, you know, that person's partner passed away. But it's saying, whoa. I don't even know how I would be able to live, to go on, to thrive, to continue to do X, Y, and Z if my partner was here. Literally thinking what it's like to be in the other person's shoes is what empathy is. And empathy doesn't mean that you always agree with your partner. The opposite is also true because you can have empathy and put yourself in the other person's shoes and even see the differences and understand their perspective without being disrespectful and without putting yourself in a very precarious situation. So it's important for you to have grace. It's important for you to understand that you are not going to always see eye to eye with your partner, but you have enough emotional intelligence because people who operate from a place of empathy have a higher emotional intelligence. If this is not you, boo, if you struggle in this area and you're not ready and willing to grow and evolve and change and to get better in this, this is gonna be a real unsexy quality to you when you're trying to be in a healthy, long-lasting relationship. Hope something that I said in this video really impacted you in a very deep way. Thank you so much for watching Keeping It Real with Keandra, and I'll see you in the next episode.